Hey folks, this is Southwest Prepper, doing a quick video, I've been uh, watching a lot of YouTube videos, just scrolling around just like you have, got some time on my hands, and I've noticed we're all worried, and we have great reason to be. Now my channel's about becoming a self-reliant person. I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about any of that crap. I talk about making yourself a better person, more self-reliant. We're living in a convenience time where everything is very convenient. You could walk down to the store, five minute walk, five dollars in your pocket, and pick up a meal. No, is that good for some? Yes. Many for us, no. It's bitten us on the ass. Many of us don't know how to cook. Many of us don't know how to take care of ourselves. We don't know how to bake. We don't know how to grow food. We don't know how to stock up food. Can food. Preserve food. We don't know where our food comes from or what it's made of. Yes, folks, we got a lot to worry about. It's 2020, and it's freaking scary. We got shit coming from all directions. Excuse my language. We got unemployment rates, 15 to 30 percent, depending on who you listen to or watch. Our GDP is down 31 percent. Depression era levels. We got a virus, worldwide virus. 180,000 dead so far in the USA. We have rising food prices, indeed, happening right now. The family of four, I'm spending a lot more on food, and we eat at home. I cook every single meal every single day, and it's getting expensive. We have possible food shortages. Possible. Enough said on that. We have the election, enough said on that. Protests, racial division. So yes, people, that's a small list of what's happening in 2020. We need to become self-reliant now. This is not to scare anybody. This is to wake us up, to see what is going on right now. This is not normal. We need to prepare ourselves. You need to learn how to cook. You need to learn how to bake. You need to learn how to grow food. You need to learn how to preserve food. And you need to show your kids how to do it. Now. You need to stock up on food, medical supplies, and personal protection. As they said in the military, beans, bullets, and band-aids. Now what I have here on the table is just a small amount of food. Now what I'm trying to show you here is shelf life. We're shopping for shelf life right now and of course we eat most of this food that we shop for. I don't buy anything that we don't eat just because it has a longer shelf life. January 2nd, 2021. Bacon. If it doesn't have to be refrigerated I'm buying it tuna January 21 2023 mashed potatoes March 28 2021 potatoes December 2022 Beefaroni, May 2022. Now this buys us time because I don't know what's going to happen just like the rest of us. I don't know if we're going to have a food disruption, distribution. It's just going to shut down again like you remember back in March 
going to the grocery store it was wiped out so what I'm doing is buying food that has a longer shelf life and I'm stocking up on it now we just had a Kroger sale a case sale if you have them in your area look for them they're in that little flyer that comes in the mail once a week or every two weeks case sale save your peat bottles like you've seen on other prepper videos they come in very handy store rice beans water salt sugar so yes i'm worried folks just like the rest of you it's coming from all directions get yourself ready get yourself prepared Learn to be self-reliant, please, and teach your kids. Love and light to all of you. I hope we all make it through this. And I hope you all learn something valuable getting through this, is that yes, we need to be prepared for anything and everything. Stock up, folks. Four to six months. Do it now. Love and light.